In the early 80s, Notre Dame's once-proud football program was struggling. On November 6, 1982, the Irish, with their 5-1-1 one, and one record, staggered into Pittsburgh to play the number one team in the nation and a juggernaut led by future Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Marino. But for this one day, Notre Dame woke up the echoes of its glorious past. The proud Irish defense kept Marino in check. Then, with Notre Dame trailing by three points late in the fourth quarter, quarterback Blair Keel and halfback Phil Carter unleashed a wild play that turned the game upside down. Mutual Radio's Al Wester and Tony Roberts call the action. First down and 10 for the Irish at the 45-yard line. Down by three, 13-10. Bill Carter back at tailback. Carter, flea flicker, back to Keel. Keel looking, throwing Joe Howard down the field. Gets it all, touchdown! What a play, what a play. The old flea flicker, a handoff, a pitch back. Given back to the quarterback, a 55-yard touchdown play as Keel has just thrown his longest pass of the year. Carter will spot it down. The kick by Johnson is up and is good. So there's a timeout in the field with a score. Notre Dame 17, Pittsburgh 13. Pitt came back with a field goal to cut the Irish lead to one. But a few minutes later, Notre Dame freshman halfback Alan Pinkett blew the game wide open. In motion, Tony Hunter was a wide out to the left side. Hand off, Pinkett off to the left side. At the 25, gets to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. He may go all the way. He's going to win the race. He's at the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Pinkett, 76 yards. Absolutely the most stunning run that I have seen a Notre Dame running back turn in in the last 10 years. A fantastic run by this young freshman. Pinkett just took the football and took it all the way, and he walked out of two tackles to be able to do it. When it was over, Notre Dame had stunned Pittsburgh 31-16. to The Irish had knocked off the number one team in the nation, transforming their season from mediocre to magic.